Hello everyone, welcome to the Elite with the Sogas.com YouTube channel. Today is March the 6th and the chart of the day for today is the DAX 30 minutes time frame here. Now we can see right here, um, if we see the latest pullback in the DAX, uh, the structure doesn't look impulsive to me. It looks overlapping and it looks corrective. And uh, this uh, cycle ended, judging by the rally here, breaking above the trend line, right? So that means we have a corrective structure coming down from this peak. Okay, this in itself is suggesting that the index still bullish and eventually we're going to break above this one, right? Now, obviously, in the shorter cycle now, uh, we still have a chance to, let's say, do a double correction, right? Until, unless it breaks above with three here, which is what we are looking at as a primary view. But if it doesn't break, we can always do a double, but if it does a double, remember it is bullish. So it's always going to be finding another support at the next extreme area. So if it does a double, let's say it sells off, then this is the next support zone based on these three swings down measured from the peak, right? Which is 17,572, 17,467. And we should find another bias from here for the next like higher or rally in three waves. Okay. so. The idea then is that as long as we stay above 16834, which is the beginning of this impulsive rally, so we got this one, two, and extended three here, then we should continue to find uh, support uh, and continue to find buyers, and the right side still remains higher, and we are bullish, right? Uh, and that's the idea for on the DAX. Looking at the four hour time frame, I'm going to copy this three, four, one, two in blue as well as two in black in the four hour. This is one, two. And this is your three and four. So it, what looks like to me is that we got what looks like a nest from this low, some sort of one to one to in play here. And so we're still within with three from the low here from January 17. We got one two, and then now still in the process of ending three in black, which is should be in a in a five waves, right? So in the one hour is calling with four completed, and the structure is corrective as we can already see in the one hour. But like I mentioned before, if we do double, which is still possible, we have scope, we have space for a double, then we should continue to find support and it should continue to be bullish regardless for the next leg higher in case it breaks down again. In case it breaks down again, I give you the next support zone, which is this area, 17,467, 17,572, which is based on the three swing 100% extension area. Okay. Now, we should be looking for a sequence of 4 and a 5 to the upside. That means even if we do break higher, it's going to be some sort of like a, it's not going to be a massive move to the upside because it is only with 5. But rather, it's going to be sort of like a marginal high. It's not, it's not like very, very marginal, but usually in the way we measure with 5 as a conservative target is 1.236 external retracement. So if we 4 end it here, the conservative target is going to be over here. 17.8558. If let's say we do double and we four end it here, then it's going to be 17.875, which is the target, which is 123.6% external retracement of the wave four. All right. So that's the idea, guys, uh, for the DAX. As always, if you want to get more updates on the indices, Forex commodities, feel free to check our service. We have 14 days trial. The link is in the description of the video. So see you all again next time and have a nice day, everyone.